You are not alone. This is Avian Invasion. This is the time to open your ears and free your mind. This is the soundtrack of a better world. We are one. Welcome to the Progressive Birdhouse. Once again, my fine feathered friends, I am Bird One of the Avian Invasion, and it looks like you have all assembled. And yes, Aledrifer, Aledrifer, I still don't know how to pronounce that one. You are just always late, that's all. Uh, That is not a new intro. Oh, guess who forgot to... uh push that fader up anyway we have new music from miss monique from uh gabriel and dresden we have new music from matt fax but first something from matan caspi again i have no idea how how to pronounce any of these names feel free to correct me in the comments Thank you for the cheering origami. I very much appreciate that. starting early. All aboard the Hype Train. And I guess I'll call this poll early because it looks like the overwhelming winner is Bird's choice as to what the engine shot will be. So as always... We start with an engine shot. If we push that train past level five, well. And I think my engine shot of choice is going to be Scotchco. (laughs) And we're already past level one, so I should hurry up and pour. Goodness. Oh my God, you guys are causing chaos again. All right. (laughs) 
Thank you so much, DJ Voxel Foxel, for raiding in. We're already 17% through level two of this hype train. So with this glorious Costco blended scotch, I toast all of you who keep me busy, keep me sane. Well, mostly. And you've been keeping me company in this little crate for so long now. I hope to see you all safe and sound and vaccinated quite soon. Here's to you. See how far that train will roll while I queue up something else. Since y'all got a hype train rolling so early already. An avian invasion original. Goodness, thank you for throwing out all those uh, gift subscriptions there. Origami. Oh, it looks like you have single-handedly pushed us to the next level here. Holy cow.
just like Kronos Lady asked for some singing and uh, no one asked for uh, an original. So I guess I'll follow well this uh, Mortagra, Mortagra remix with something original that I can sing to. But in the meantime, it looks like you all have pushed us almost to that level five hype train. We're, we're 22% of the way into it. Oh, wait, that just changed to 35 uh, maybe by the time I start singing, I'll have to cue up a shot along with a song. In the meantime, here's the last siren for you. The Avian Invasion welcomes you. while I was queuing something up. Hype Train, level five. And it is still going, my goodness. Looks like the current Hype Train conductor is Origami Griffin on both accounts between subs and bits. So uh, Origami, your choice. Scotch, tequila, or Basil Hayden's bourbon. The birdlet has chosen bourbon. All right. Yes, ma'am. As always, I don't just appreciate your company. I definitely appreciate the 136% level 5 hype train within the first two songs. All this cheering, all this subscribing pays for all of this music that you're hearing. And it also helps feed the bird, you know, things other than whiskey. So to your support and your friendship, here's to you. Thank you, Jay Colley, for, oh, and Ink Blitz for cheering and piling on. We're going to drive that hype train right off a cliff, aren't we? Goodness. is worried that every time I flip that uh, avian invasion shot glass that uh, Mythomorph here in the chat got me as a Christmas gift that I'm going to get liquor on my fingers. That's what you're worried about. $2,500 XDJ up here. You're worried about me getting liquor on my fingers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you once again so much for all that support. So 
as I said earlier, we have a request for both singing and an original. Ah, hell, I'll throw the guitar in as well. An avian invasion original. in the chat room here, uh, Howlwind saying, you don't have album art for your own album, not for the background versions.
First of all, thank you for spending those seeds of awesomeness, which do not cost you a dime, by the way, to uh, request some singing, request an original, request some color changes, and request some other color changes. Matter of fact, Zero Key Wolf, I'm going to refund you those eggs because you happen to ask for the same color that Origami asked for literally seconds before you did. But most importantly, Twig Mouse here in the chat room wanted a shout out saying that vaccination update, U.S. edition, 40% of adults have received at least one dose and more than 25% are fully vaccinated. That's a lot of ouchies. And that is, in fact, correct. And as of this moment, all adults in the United States of America are now eligible. So if you can get one, go get stabbed by a professional. And no coffee and trance. I don't watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I'm sorry. one thing the the fabulous new camera i've got really makes this color blast look anemic doesn't it keeping time in terms of years gotta let it go and buy your knees landing head first with no gear
avian invasion welcomes you. inspirations that got me into DJing in particular, not just making music, but she is a fabulous, fabulous DJ. I'm not sure entirely. I think she's in Ukraine, but I'll have to look that one up. But I strongly recommend looking up Miss Monique. And this is actually one of her remixes of James Tristan and Greg uh, Ignag. Uh, well, you can you can look at you can look below me and read it for yourself while I trip over my own whiskey-soaked tongue. And of course, if you want the full playlist later, within minutes of signing off of this show, you'll find it all at avianinvasion.com/spotify and avianinvasion.com/mixcloud. But first, Amanzi Otter has asked me a thing with those seeds of awesomeness. Asking me anything. When I'm all alone, down the street, yeah. Well, after this, anyway. So Amanzi asks, I would love to know something a bit special. What would one have to do to use one or more of your originals in their own streams here on Twitch? Want to make sure I'm not claimed after all. Got to protect that affiliate status for all two of my subscribers. Well, that's not a bad question. It's a thorny one. The short answer is not possible. The long answer is, if my track has been signed to a label, you'll have to see what their policy is. Labels like Bass Rebels Records is usually very open and free about this sort of thing, as long as you uh, post links and attribute properly. But I, I don't know about the others. I've been signed to a few labels, and they may have their own unique policies. If I've released it myself, if you can find it at avianinvasion.com slash store, for example. At least I think that's the right link. Anyway, uh, if it's if it's on my Bandcamp page, then I've got the rights to it. I'm not going to send you a DMCA takedown unless you're being a dick or a Nazi. So don't be either of those things and you'll be fine. Ms. Art the Everlasting, you can absolutely be an evil overlord. We've already got a chaos crew. Why not?
Invasion. another ask me anything from silas sable forget the seeds what would you do remixes of foxes and peppers songs like last summer of innocence the theme from the fandom documentary uh well quite frankly <laughs> and if you're on avianinvasion.com slash patreon you probably realize i am busy as hell just trying to release my own tracks i'm not above remixing other people's tracks but boy, does it have to be scheduled. <laughs> I've been working on remixing one of my own lately, actually. But it's not outside the realm of possibility, I assure you. An avian invasion original. Thank you, Kronos Lady, for sticking around as long as you did. Thank you, and good night. See, we're starting this again. I took a walk among the stars tonight and found myself a washing colored light. It felt like spirits had awakened me. This carnival of animals had taken me.
So thanks to this new plugin I'm using that not only actually displays what I'm playing, not a minute later. I have to thank Triode, by the way, for making the plugin that he did make. It just, for some reason, doesn't work with my system. But what I found lately, not only does that, but displays the album art, even if I've forgotten to update it since the song was released on Patreon. And like that, I can switch it over to what's actually playing. Like this thing from Roush House in Hayes M called Celestial. on that button, weren't you? All right.
Well, so long, Mythomorph. I'm very glad you made it all the way over here to the West Coast. You overshot Seattle by a little bit, but that's all right. At least you didn't end up in the Pacific.
Silent on Tiger wanted an orange color blast. Unfortunately, unlike the lights, I can make them as orange as you like. But uh, yeah, the the color blaster only does four options, and that was not one of them. Sorry. So if you want to respend those seeds of awesomeness, be my guest. I just sent them back at you. But in the meantime, uh, here's a little something that hopefully will not make you run away. Something new from Matt Fax. On top of all of that, we have an Ask Me Anything from Silas Sable. When you choose Avian Invasion, I'm assuming you mean chose, did you just luck out that someone else had not grabbed it yet? <laughs> no. I spent hours, literally hours, sitting at my dealer table. saying before I was rudely interrupted by, well, the song. Uh, no, I didn't just luck out finding Avian Invasion and it hadn't been taken already. Uh, I spent hours sitting at a dealer table at a convention. Uh, I believe it was t uh, Texas Furry Fiesta, actually. I was sitting there for literally hours at my dealer table typing in names of what I could call myself because I'm a bird, I'm part robot, I'm part man. I, there's gotta be some kind of combination. Uh, space bird, uh, no, that that's taken. Uh, star bird, no, that's taken. It was frustrating, but it's, you know, I am who I am. Figuring out what to call myself, eh, that's trivial. But I like avian invasion and I think it suits me rather well. 
and I hope you do too. And I'm glad that you've joined me, well, pretty much every Monday during this whole pandemic. And every Wednesday during this whole pandemic. And every Friday for some of you. Looks like uh, Aledrifer, Aledrifer, Al Edrifer has uh, redeemed the random shot. What'll it be? Tequila, scotch, or bourbon? And no, Twig Mouse, the random shot does not have a cooldown. It can only be reclaimed once per show because I don't want to kill myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, it'd pretty much be you guys murdering me. This whole saga with just my right arm. Okay, why not?
so to even those of you who would foment chaos in my chat room. As long as y'all are having fun, it makes me so very happy. And thank you, Amanzi Otter, for the, I guess, pile of uh, 10 cent bits <laughs> that you just dumped in here as well. Here's to you, my friend. And here's to all of you keeping your heads up through some very, very unique times. Cheers. God, it's an entire army of corgis. <laughs> and you know, just for the spirit of things, here's another original track. That I apparently still have not updated the album artwork for. This is a brand new plugin, by the way. I'm finding out just how much stuff I don't have the real album artwork for right now. <laughs> this is Jockey's Escape from Avian Invasion.
congratulations, Kiwa Brapchi, on getting your beloved Mazda Speed MX-5. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I can verify, at least in every Miata I've ever sat in, my head, my chin is above the windshield. So with you driving, I'm likely to actually have the whole works just taken off from the wind. Origami Griffin and hello Tommy Logic. Thank you for joining us and Origami, thank you for sticking around for so long. Hope to see your tiny little, uh, well I was going to say your tiny ass out here, but like I, I, I want to see all of you, not just the ass. Please do not send that in some sort of like flat rate box or something because that would be creepy as hell. But I hope to see you out here once we're all vaccinated and able to, you know, travel again. <laughs> oh wow we're already almost 10 past the hour i should think about wrapping this up soon this is supposed to be an hour-long show but usually i don't care we've already moved well past the new music portion of the show and uh to whomever decided i should DJ and do shots with my right wing only. Well, that time has uh, finally passed.
should also mention, by the way, that if you're not watching this on Twitch, I do occasionally pay attention to the other chats. So if you're on YouTube or on Mixcloud or on Periscope, say hi. But you should probably over on Twitch. You know, you should you should join us at avianinvasion.com slash live. Because frankly, that's where all the fun is. And thank you th for uh, slamming that tip jar with one whole dollar, Amanzi Otter. I appreciate it. I mean, especially considering the bits are just pennies, I definitely appreciate it. <laughs> seem to be shooting for some specific sum, and I'm not sure what exactly you're going for here. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever you've done, thank you for hitting the tip jar with uh, one whole dollar and 92 of its friends. Uh, we're at an even $1,100 towards that $2,000 goal. As a reminder, your generosity and your tipping has already brought me some new in-ear monitors, which will mean anytime there's radio interference from these second cheapest stage lights, and boy, is there a lot. It won't scream in my ear anymore, which is good because I don't want to go deaf. But we are now well on our way to getting a uh, replacement for my aging microphone setup as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for hitting that tip jar. Are you trying to hit one, one, two, three, five, eight? Really? Eureka. by the way, I'm just having fun with the fact that now that I have a now playing plugin that shows you what I'm playing on screen immediately, I can turn sync off and actually make like a real DJ. There is a class of human being who spins vinyl, actual circles of vinyl with a needle dragging along a groove. These people are wizards and they are to be feared. I have made my peace with technology. Uh, M. Don Music is asking, wait, wait, you've been using sync? Okay, so I'm typing to the chat, controlling my own lighting, playing guitar and singing, and covering this thing up from time to time so that I can do shots live on stage. You're goddamn right I use sync. The robots are already doing 90% of the work anyway. I might as well give them another, like, 5%. But it's not because I don't know how to beat match, it's because I'm doing a lot up here. Oh 
my goodness. Anyway, Aman Ziotter, who, uh, again, thank you very much for your generous tip, has requested an original. Let's see what I can follow this with. This is something called Dancing on the Moon, which is fantastic because we have just flown a helicopter on Mars. And if you didn't have helicopters on Mars as your band name already, you're, you're going to be behind the times on this one. You are alive. You are beautiful. You are not alone. And for some reason, Zero Key Wolf is saying, Chaos Crew, drop those bits if you got them. Lol. I will not laugh out loud because it just says lol. But thank you for spending those seeds of awesomeness for a shout out. starting with I didn't realize I'd gone that far over an hour we've got tequila we've got scotch and we have bourbon oh looks like tequila's first in line here but more importantly we have ourselves a request for an original holy cow and some gift subscriptions and some bits. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Barker. Thank you, Jay Colley. Thank you, Ink Blitz. Thank you, Aladrifer. Aladrifer. And thank you, Mirage's Hot Date, for the uh, the tip. The tip doesn't count towards the hype train, by the way. That only counts towards making my live setup way better. <laughs> so thank you very, very much. Since the weather in Seattle has been absolutely gorgeous lately... Here's a little something called Sundance. As a matter of fact, the weather has been so good, I've actually started working on my recording studio. That's right, an entire building all to myself rather than this spare bedroom that I've converted into the crate. Okay, that hype train is rolling fast. I should get this thing queued up and then get this thing covered up and then get that thing drank up.
those of you, especially in the Pacific Northwest, who have been doing those sun dances, praying for the giant yellow sky orb to bless us with its warmth and dryness and unfortunately allergens. Here's to you, because I have been able to bang a whole lot of nails, pervs, into a whole lot of wood, also pervs. So here's to you, those of you that have joined the sun dance. Costco tequila. Oh, man. Oh my goodness, where are we now? I can't keep up. Thank you to uh, Amanzi Otter for apparently blasting this uh, while working nightly. I didn't realize this tune was that popular with you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Aledra, for, for giving out a bunch of community subscriptions. Oh, goodness, that the hype train is just like 11% away from level 5. Y'all trying to wreck me. Oh, make it 2%. Thank you, Hazy Possum. Like a fine IPA you are. <laughs> if I mispronounce some of these names, it's because I'm just paying attention to what I'm doing up here. I apologize. And uh, on that note, this is What's Your Name? Featuring Demetrius, by the way, from Joyce Muniz. Ah, and there it is. Hype Train Level 5. I mean, the train is still rolling, but it is time for that caboose shot. So once again, first person in the chat room to suggest either tequila, scotch, or bourbon. It will not be Malort, no matter what you suggest, Timbin. I know that's what you're thinking. Ah, M. Don Music has suggested bourbon. Another excellent choice. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Bur- 
bird bin. Bird bin. bin. No, it's, it's not a bin full of birds. Oh, forget it. goodness it's still at 102 percent that's twice in just over an hour i hope that your lust for harmony and beauty is as potent as your lust for chaos when you're watching these streams. Thank you so much. <laughs> and at the last second, EXE Derg, the executable dragon. Tossed in a little bit more. Thank you guys very much once again. I very much appreciate it even though I might actually fall over at the end of one of these shows. Do you suffer from penguin infestation? just requested a color blast rock pup i will honor that but you will be kind of disappointed because i just got a new camera and that means that camera is all the way at the back of my studio because it has an actual lens with actual glass usually this thing has been a whole lot closer to the crappy logitech webcam that i've been using for years now as a matter of fact speaking of for years now this is a track one of the first tracks I ever picked up when I first thought, eh, maybe I'll try my hand at DJing. This is And Koln from Jeremy Olander. And there will be a red color blast, but again, I apologize for its size. Not many men are willing to admit that.
Sir Mizart, the Everlasting's question at the same time. Go for it. So, so Mizart the Everlasting, yes, the color blast is small because second cheapest stage lights. But now the camera is so much better, so it is so much farther away, so it doesn't get that full frontal view of the blast. Pyrotechnics would be great, but not in my new studio. I'm building it. I know what it's made of. I don't want it to burn to the ground with me in it. No matter what my track Pilot Light would suggest, I am not a phoenix. The fire suppression systems would kick in. And I would probably asphyxiate. But what a way to go.
Okay, so the chat room has kind of gone off the rails, which is fine for a double level 5 hype train chat room, I suppose that means the rails are more of a guideline than a rule. But I should mention that we are well, well past the, the one hour mark where this show usually ends. And I know somewhere out there, there is a lion who wants me to help him make dinner. These are the forces of the universe that even robot birdmen are beholden to. And so I will answer Chrono Wolf's question, who threw in those seeds to ask me anything, and that anything happens to be, does the bird like peanut butter, especially of the whiskey variety? I will say that I think that I have only ever had one peanut butter whiskey. It was rather enjoyable. But as for the entire species, well, I can only comment on the one that I've tried. It was pretty good. In any case, one more track before we head out of here. So start thinking about who we raid next. It clearly won't be M. Don Music or Coffee and Trance or Todd. Because they all popped in here, meaning they're done. So where we go after this is entirely up to you. Hit me up in the chat at avianinvasion.com slash live. In the meantime, here's something that I have only ever played, I think, from the back of the DJ Sessions truck in downtown Seattle. Something for an album project, a full-length album project that I'm still working on. And now that Mythomorph has hit the West Coast, we might be able to work on it together. I hope it's a philosophy you all can uh, ascribe to. Bring on the world.
looks like after this, uh, we are hitting a kamikaze mixtape. I have no idea where they're broadcasting from, but it looks like a dungeon deep, deep in the heart of the earth. Another suggestion from the, the Eagle Beagle. Thank you so much. And I will see you, of course, on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time for Trance Invasion. As always, mostly new music, but <laughs> mostly chaos. In any case, it's time once again to leave you with the great robot voice saying all the things that I wish I could say to you in person. Thank you for listening. This show only exists because of dedicated patrons like these. If you want to hear more, the invasion needs you at avianinvasion.com slash Patreon. Look for Avian Invasion on Spotify, Mixcloud, YouTube, and everywhere dance music is sold, streamed, or enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Alrighty, y'all. I'll see you on Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific time. In the meantime, always remember. Until next time, Bird One reminds you that you are alive, you are beautiful, and you are not alone. Let's do this. Oh.